All right, guys, we're back with some more Haikyuu. We got episode 15 here up and ready to go. This episode, I think we are starting off with a tournament. I... Oh, shit. What was the name of the team they're going up against? I don't know if we ever heard it, did we? We must have at some point last episode, but they're going up against uh, Daichi's old classmate from, like, um, junior high? I guess, is that how Japan's education system works? Something like that. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that match. I don't know if it'll be just this episode or if we're going to have um, it continue on into, like, next episode as well. Anyway, I'm looking forward to this tournament. I am really hoping we get some Daichi uh, character, like, development or just... We get to learn more about him in this match since it is up against his friend and maybe that'll bring back some past things or just some like mental stuff. I don't know. I really don't know, but I just, yeah, I'm looking forward to it anyway. Hopefully it'll at least have some cool volleyball moments. We haven't seen uh, that team in action yet, so they could be good. We don't know. It could be really good. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to try to stick with the method of not making too long of intros um, just to see how that works for like watch time and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to hop right into the episode and see what happens. Let's go. <laughs> Damn, even... Even Suga called him out? I'm used to Daichi, but... Oh, man, was hoping for a moment. Oh. Teresa. That's fair, but these guys don't seem the sentimental type, I guess. <laughs> Shimuzu's little thing already got their morale, like, boosted. That shit's through the roof. You don't gotta say shit aside. <laughs> I, like, how is it gonna work once this year is done? Like, are Daichi, Asahi, and Suga just gonna be gone? They ain't gonna be part of the team anymore? That seems like the way it's heading. Like, that still kind of sucks. I'm, I'm sure we'll get, like, replacement characters. Maybe new first years. But be hard to, you know, meet those standards. I do got faith they can do it. Mediocre, bruh. Y'all keep saying that, but they're about to get shown real quick. Better get humbled. Oh, oh shit. Flightless Ravens. Oh, right. when they're right there? Oh, you guys are tough. Better. <laughs> oh my god. Better be a murder up in here. <laughs> Even got a, even got Suga and Asahi looking pissed, bro. Those <laughs> gotta be bigger men. I like that. Though sometimes Tanaka's route, I can appreciate just going straight for him. Like a high school, oh poor Asahi man. I get that. I feel, I feel that man. Guys from Kita High worked for him to extort money. Asahi, what you doing? <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. I saw he has it rough, bro. <laughs> Man's just constantly being misunderstood. Like I said, I feel the whole like looking older than a high schooler because I've had this beard since grade nine, which is like what, 14? Since I was 14. Uh, so I feel that, but I, I can't say I ever got mistaken as a drug dealer or like a crime boss. <laughs> Sort of a wild appearance. 
<laughs> Damn, bro. Suga's going hard at him now. That's a good point. <laughs> oh my god, even Noya. I knew Noya was like down for her, but <laughs> uh frick, these guys, man. They're they're teens, yeah. Uh, one of you in the comments said they're like they're sixteen, so it's acceptable. I it's fine. I have no problem with them having a crush on her. It's just got some weird antics going to <laughs> Hell yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, just you wait, buddy. Just you goddamn wait. It's huge. Oh, is it the iron wall? Dude, yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, wow, wow. Jesus, man. I, I don't want to judge too harshly just off appearances, but that man looks pissed, bro. I hope he turns out to be really nice. Does he talk? You, you gonna say something? Oh, a stare down. Okay. <laughs> Whenever he sees, oh, it's, oh, that's, that's his thing. Okay. The <laughs> two, yeah, quite the first impression, gotta say. <laughs> oh, should have known. I was like, this is, this isn't very, like, characteristic of Asahi just standing there and taking it like that, but, <laughs> oh, Nerve-wracking. Man was, like, shitting himself. Energy. Yeah, he's more... He's in charge. <laughs> nice. Yeah, fair. I like it. Keep that respect going between them. Oh. Oh, I'm kind of, like... I... I can't remember if I edited it out last video because I think I started talking about it and then got distracted so I don't know if it ever came up again but I would like to see the girls team get some like action going on because that'd be dope I think they could do their whole own thing and I'd be I'd be down for it Very end, hell yeah, just try your damnedest. I saw the matters at this point. No time for more training. Just gotta be good enough now. Hell yeah. Let's go. Kind of a small team compared to the boys, but hey, as long as it works. Maybe we just didn't see all the members, but that's also... How do I put this? It, it doesn't really matter, but I just think it's kind of cool. Because at least where I'm from... And maybe it's, like, normal, because I think it was even that way in shows like Junior High. Uh, a lot of the time, it's girls that play volleyball more. You don't see, like, as many guys playing volleyball. Like, literally in shows Junior High, I don't think they had a boys team. Because show had to play with the girls team to, like, do any playing at all. And I, I'm pretty sure in my high school, there was a ton more girls interested in volleyball than there was guys. So... It's kind of nice to see a little bit of a change from that, how there's a lot of dudes, like, really interested in volleyball. <laughs> Better do something, yep. Gotta give him another one of your pep talks. Can never be as scared as that. Nice! Yeah, that works. Oh, he's... Yeah, there's that. And then it's gonna be hitting Kageyama in the back of the head, right? You know it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't you let that shit happen again. <laughs> Man, we're already 
We're already <laughs> over halfway through the episode and we haven't even gotten into it yet, which is fine. That, that kind of bodes that it's going to end on a cliffhanger, which I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> Oh, I see. They're coming to watch. They're coming to scope them out a little bit. See if they've improved. <sighs> yeah, go get his ass right now. No time for flirting. Yo, this man... Is this man really tall or are they, like, incredibly short? It just... I mean, they look young. And that's concerning. <laughs> Saw that coming. <laughs> Shrimp John. Oh boy. Yeah, smack the shit out of this man. Right? Oh yeah. Okay, I forgot. Yeah, they were at it afterwards. Yeah, they've got they got some changes. Some nice changes. Yeah, that's all like Dateko too, but it's gotta focus on this match. Yeah. And that's all. Exactly. It like it's fine for Asahi to want to focus on Dateko and beat that whole thing that's going on in his head, but man cannot afford to get distracted. Gotta focus on these dudes. Oh yeah. Nice sportsmanship. I like it. So far, everybody has actually been very, like, sportsmanlike. I can say, when I was younger and did sports, a lot of the time when it came to... Uh, well, I'm thinking about soccer. Because in soccer, the whole team would sort of line up and we'd go along and, like, uh, I guess just kind of high five along there. I'm not sure what the term for that was, but it was just kind of like a team, you know, saying like, hey, good game, good game, good good game, that sort of thing. But a lot of the time those would kind of go south. Like someone would, I don't know, smack a guy or just say like, screw you or something like that. And then, you know, shit would break out from there. So far, nothing's happened like that. And either... I don't know, maybe Japan is better for that sort of thing, or maybe it's just because it's an anime and that's how the writing is, but still, all whenever I think of, like, I don't know, handshakes and just saying, like, good game, that's what comes to mind is just people, just young young kids are constantly, like, they're not very sportsmanlike. They, they can get pissed, which, you know, they're young. It's fair. Most of these guys have been pretty mature so far. Except maybe Tanaka. <laughs> okay, yeah, so... They keep cutting to the girls' team. I'm hoping we get a little bit of them. Let's go, boys. Okay, yeah, okay, full team handshakes. Oh yeah, even the refs? Very nice. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. No flightless ravens today. <laughs> was it moving? I was gonna say, this man, he's getting good with the speeches. Sitting on the bench, yeah, God. They got no idea. Go to get a rude awakening. Damn, everybody. Have another thing coming. Okay, attaboy, turnip head. You know what's going on. It's to be Asahi. Oh, Tanaka, okay. <laughs> yeah, yep. <yeah. laughs> yep, gotta get the hype going. <laughs> Taiji's had enough. And that was literally like the first play. Baldy? <laughs> you know what? Maybe, maybe I spoke too soon about the whole mature thing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, baby. Shoot right through him. Hell, yeah. Old guy. 50. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. They're murdering the guy. 
Oh, we going for it? Oh, they're going for it. The duo. The Ravens can fly. Hell yeah, man's better leap. Come on, nail. Absolutely drill that shit down. He's flying, indeed. He is. He do be flying, though. Oh. Oh, damn. Didn't even give him a chance. Damn, even Dantico was watching, and aren't they in a match, too? <laughs> Yo, like, bro, pay attention to your game here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's gotta be the thumbnail, right? Oh, my God, that. Damn. That scene right there. Oh my god, I am adding that as a PC wallpaper right now. That was good. That was really good. I I thought we were going to get into the tournament like sooner in the episode, like pretty early on. But I do like that we had some time to sort of uh, get to know the other teams a little bit more. Um, kind of get reconnected with like um, Abba Josai. Kind of didn't really get to know Datako, but uh, you know that the dude with the white hair. Uh, is it weird that I kind of like him? He's kind of funny. He just came up, pointed at Asahi, and <laughs> that's it. That's all he did. He was like, gotta pick him out, I guess. Gotta threaten the ace. That's his thing. But I don't know. I feel like I'll like him. Once we get the result of that match between like Dateko and uh, Karasuno, because I'm pretty sure we're going to be playing them. I really doubt uh, Karasuno is going to lose this match because it's the first one. But yeah, I think it'll be nice if Karasuno wins against Dateko and then maybe the white haired guy will actually say something. Be like, hey, nice game, buddy. You'll actually respect him. Uh, at least that's what I'm hoping. Um, it'd just be cool. But yeah, so far in the match that they're in right now, it seems like Karasuno is doing pretty good. I don't think we even saw the enemy or the rival or whatever you want to say, the opponent's team um, score any points yet. So they could be hiding some tricks up their sleeve. The coach was saying like trust in their training and whatnot. So... I'm not going to like write them off quite yet. I'm not going to say it's an easy round to win. I'm hoping they actually do pull out something cool because I want all the matches to at least be tough. I want them to like challenge our characters so that, I don't know, they don't get too full of themselves because I feel like that could happen at least with some of the characters. They'd, they'd get too comfortable. They'd think they're too good. And then they'd get like a very rude awakening at some point when they go up against someone actually like on their level but they have lost against Nakoma so maybe it balances itself out I don't know it is just weird to me that the opponents haven't gotten much like character stuff going on like we have Daichi's old friend but we haven't even heard the names of any of the other characters right so like I I can't even recall their team name I'm not sure if it's on the list. No, there's nothing. So they must not be that big of a rival. Which, you know, is fair. Not every team's going to be that way. Not every team's going to be like Date Ko or uh, Nakoma or Abba Jose, where like there's a personal vendetta against somebody. But uh, still, kind of wish we got a little bit more about them. Maybe we will next episode. It'll probably continue on for most of the episode. Uh, like going against these guys but again i am hoping that we get to see <laughs> the girls team uh play a little bit i don't know why i just feel like i don't know i like character development and i feel like they could give us some nice character development because their captain i'm really sorry but i forget her name the one that daichi was talking to um she seems like a good character she's an awful lot like i guess Maybe Daichi, because she is the captain, but her personality kind of seems more like show to me, where she kind of gets easily like brought down, distracted, or uh, depressed maybe, but then the right thing happens and she's just up and going, and yeah, she's, she's easily motivated, I guess, and 
she's very like upbeat about it too. She's not negative even when she's down on something. So I, I appreciate her character. Uh, be nice to get a little bit more about her, maybe some growth from her because still seems like she could use some growth, maybe get some more like confidence in herself and the team. Uh, yeah, I'm just saying like it could be cool if done right. But I don't know if that'll be like anytime soon because they are doing their tournament. But I feel like we're mainly going to focus on Karasuno right now. Like, sorry, uh, the boys team Karasuno. We're going to focus on them because that's kind of what the show is about. Just from like the vibe I'm getting, it seems like we will get to go up against uh, Alba Josai because they're kind of working up to that. They had Oikawa kind of... Um, you know, calling out Kageyama and Sho there. And Turniped, he was like, I'm going to grind them to dust or something like that. I'm guessing we'll get to that point, And I am really looking forward to that as well. Because just getting to see Oikawa in the full match will be cool. Because we only got to see him for maybe half the match. Maybe not even that. Uh, and he was good. Like, he kind of brought it back for that team. So we do have Noya and Asahi and Ukai as the coach now. So we've improved since then. Definitely still though, hard to say whether we've gotten right to their level. I don't know. Cause they are skilled. They are talented. Um, not just Oikawa, the whole team, cause they held their own really well, even without Oikawa during the practice match or the, um, the normal match, whatever it was. Anyway, though, that was a fantastic episode. I'm sure this whole tournament's going to be great. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing all the matches, seeing all the side stuff, too, because I'm sure there'll be quite a bit of that, a lot of side character development. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video or the series so far, be sure to drop a like, subscribe. Uh, just shows that you support the channel, the series, that you want to see more. Uh, drop a comment down below, anything you want to say. Just don't spoil anything because that's just rude. Absolute prick move right there. And yeah, that's it from me. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.